What up, YouTube? I got worms, literally, in my uh, kombucha. I got worms. I beg your pardon? Uh, my first batch. I'm going to go over detail what I did wrong and kind of pinpoint the situation of why it happened, and hopefully it won't happen to you. This is the fur channel, you guys. Thank you for joining in. Let's get to it. Mark. Um, this is my first one. I'm trying to do like a four batch, you know, continuous brew. And yeah, let's take a look into it. All right, let's take a look. Oh, don't mind that. Your boy's a dipper. All right. So, can you see that? What the heck? Yeah, eat my daggone scope. All right. Yeah, I know this is pretty gross, you guys. Um, I was laying in bed last night, and I was like, someone was just telling me, go check your kombucha. Because it was getting around that time, um, you know, for me to pretty much be done with this batch and start my new batch. But it just something wasn't, you know, settling right. So I was like, all right, let me check it out. I'll just check and see how my scobies are doing. And this is the very first batch. And as you can see... We got stuff eating on it. I mean, they're like all over the scoby and just eating it. And, you know, if I'm not mistaken now, that's I'm pretty sure that's just like mold growing now. From all the research, I can kind of gather up. It's what it is. Now, all right. No signs whatsoever of this. This was, for some reason, this was pretty easy for me to see. And if you guys have seen... Uh, this in your batch, you know, obviously throw it out. I waited to the next day because obviously I wanted to do a video on it. I haven't really seen anything on it. And uh, I just, you know, I'm, I think I've seen a post on Riddick that I've seen uh, on something like this. You know, someone was pretty upset that they it happened. They don't know why. But um, thank the Lord, my other batches, there's nothing wrong with them. Um, I searched, shine light through it just to make sure there wasn't, uh, you know, the vinegar eels, whatever, you know, it's like little worms. Um, it's definitely not that. So what, only thing I can think of is that it's got to be, and I've, I've done a little bit of research, and the only thing I came to the conclusion that it's got to be a fruit fly and uh, the larva from it. And, you know, now that I'm thinking... There was a little bit of fruit flies uh, flying around it, and I made a mistake of using cheesecloth. And uh, this one's not as doubled up like all the other ones, and I think they were just a little bit more protective. And I also hung a uh, a, uh, a fly trapper where they just stick to it. I know it's pretty gross, but it's, it's better than nothing. So I got that taken care of, and you know, came up with images and seen that it looks like uh, fruit fly larva. And um, yeah, I mean, they're just sitting in there um, living and eating the scoby and just thriving off that. I don't even know how they're surviving, but they're definitely, you know, surviving. So, you know, are they ground worms? No, they're not. But they, they still are a type of worm at this state. And um, yeah, so let's let's take another look at it. So, so you don't get things mixed up of, a, you know, of a vinegar eel or whatever they call it. All right. All right. Because if you can see, like, you can see the little black little head. And uh, this is not the same. See, if it was like a maggot, you'd be able to tell. They'll be a little bit bigger. So if you guys come across this, look, the best thing you can do so far is to make sure you're not using the daggone cheesecloth for one, for where they can get, you know, through there. Um, make sure, you know, it's, you know, wrapped up you know, secure. And also, um, the mistake that I did that I can think why my SCOBY is pretty much molding, you know, it's, it's probably them too that's really making it worse. But is that whenever I was brewing it, I put, you know, the hot water straight in there. I put my, uh, my starter liquid all the way in there, my SCOBY with the water. I mean, it was just, it was terrible. And I wasn't really catching on to it until when I started on my second batch, I was like, I should probably let this cool down, 
research it and obviously yes you know when you get it to that state you can also kill your scoby you can also you know you really open it up to um, a world of problems to happen with mold and stuff like that so you want to make sure it gets to room temperature you want to make sure it's covered with the right cloth no cheese cloth don't do it it looks like like it would have worked but it doesn't work unless you you know triple it up it, it's gonna be fine I'm gonna switch mine just in case and you know if you can go get one of the the fly traps for the fruit flies because they'll find a way to get in there and do some nasty stuff and ruin your kombucha but you know if it happens don't try to reuse your scoby just trash all of it and start all over and uh, yeah I wanted to share this to you so if you see something like little maggots or something like that in your kombucha then you discovered that a fruit fly got into it could have been before as you was making it you know maybe you didn't see it and it could have did something before you wrapped it up or it could have got in after you wrapped it up somehow some way but it happens so I wanted to share this you guys got any questions leave a comment uh, I do a little bit of random videos on the fur channel but um, you know if you feel like you want to subscribe subscribe and uh if this was helpful give it a thumbs up i appreciate you guys you guys take care bye i got worms gross this is just disgusting <laughs>